on anything in particular today? No. My, uh, my theme is working with the new normal. So <laughs> my new normal is to continually get used to new normals. I like that quote, right? <laughs> so here's our new normal on our, on our mat. Let's, um, let me mute you. Let's come onto the mat. And actually, we're going to come into a laying down pose. So if you want to put, if you have a block on the long side of your back, you put the block here up on the top shoulders and then on your back, and then you lie down in that Supta Baddha Konasana position, go for it. So um, go ahead and have a little rest. Uh, bring the soles of the feet together. Hello, Marjorie. Thanks for coming. I'm going to mute everybody. So we're going to come soles of the feet together, lying down on our back. And we're going to take some inhales and some exhales and gently move into our practice. If you'd like to place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly, that's awesome. Go for it. Feel free to do that. And like I said, I'm going to talk a little bit about the new normal. I, I found it funny yesterday. As you breathe, you can listen to me or just ignore it, whatever you want. Um, I was driving down the street and all the kids were beeping. How the, new, the seniors that are going into the high school go around and beep. And um, some of the kids were kind of hanging out the window as they were beeping by me on Atlantic Ave. And I was thinking to myself, oh, my goodness, that is so dangerous. That is so dangerous. But then there was this part of me that was like, oh, it feels so good for kids to be beeping and hanging out windows. Like, that's more than normal I'm used to. Um, and then I realized, oh, they're seniors. This is so cool. And then I realized I had a senior who was sound asleep in the bedroom. So I called them and I said, Corey, what are you doing? And uh, all your class is out here beeping around. And he said, it's just for girls. So um, I saw a lot of boys. So I think that's the new normal, boys and girls out beeping on senior day, first day. Let's make our new normal and let it suit us. Take the next few breaths in, draw them in so slowly that it feels like you're sipping um, a really refreshing drink when you're really hot, you know, that nice tart lemonade. And then let it go. We'll do that three more times. Feel the movement of the ribs, kind of key component, creating more space. Inhale and exhale. And then with this last breath, take an inhale, hold at the top. Take an exhale, push down against your belly and let it all go. Kind of really expel the air out to the lower lobes of your lungs. And then gently bring your knees to touch. So you're going to bring your knees to touch. Let your feet stay on the earth for a moment. And just draw your arms behind you. You're bending your elbows so it looks like you're making a W or a field goal pose, a squared W. Hold it here for a moment. Push against the tops of the shoulders and gently lift your hips up. Now, hopefully everybody can hear me and see me. I'm going to have my phone next to me. If you should happen to lose me, please text. Exhale, come all the way down. If you want my number, 781-956-1098. So 781-956-1098 if you need to text. Lift your hips back up on the inhale. Feel like I'm doing a commercial. That's the new normal. Exhale, breathe it all the way back down. I like to close my eyes here and just envision the way the hips keep moving higher, but I don't jam my chin into my shoulders, I create space in my back and just open up through my elbows. Exhale all the way down. And then let's close our hands in a fist. As we lift the hips up, open your hands, spread energy through your hands, maybe push the knuckles down against the mat. And then exhale, pull it back, close your fingers in. I'm pushing against the balls of my feet to lift up and then opening my arms on the inhale. And then exhale, let it all go. If you want to work with your feet too, you can inhale and come up to your heels and lift your toes up when you lift your hips. That's a flexed toe and an open hand. And then exhale, drop everything else down. It's like a little bit of a ta-da moment. Ready? Inhale up. 
Ta-da, show your stuff. On the exhale, come all the way back down. We're going to do this one more time. Gently invite the hips up, open up through the hands, maybe blossom the feet up too. On the exhale, pull it down, relax. We'll lift the feet up off the mat, crossing the right leg over left. We're moving into our practice slowly today. Reaching for your ankles, your shins, whatever you've got, and rock it side to side. Great place to find some release in your lower mid-back. If you'd like to bring your forehead up towards your knees, please do squeeze the knees so close that there's no space, no sunlight between the thighs and the ribs. And on the exhale, drop it all the way down. Feel the distance as you draw the shoulders away from ears. So again, lift it up. Maybe move through your feet a little bit. It's nice to keep movement in your ankles. Makes you less stagnant, right? Exhale, breathe it all the way down. We're going to do it one more time. Inhale, pull it up and hold. Maybe roll through your feet a little bit in both directions. And then exhale, draw it all the way down. Simply place the left foot to the mat. The right leg will come up to the sky. My hand, right hand's already by the thigh. Bring your left hand to meet it and roll through the ankle. Place the forehead up towards the knee. Gently guide that right leg in. Extend the left leg long. So I'm going to start right off the bat with some ab work. My left foot is hovering. If you don't want to do that, don't. Definitely flex and point that left foot for a moment. And then finish with a left foot flex. Right foot flex. Draw the forehead towards your knee. On the exhale, we're just simply going to move to the second side. Your right leg will hover. If you have a heater to land it on, that's awesome. You can cheat. Thank you, Lisa. Roll through your left foot a little bit, forehead towards your knee and hold. And then we're just going to exhale, release to the other side. So we're moving from leg to leg. You can inhale and exhale at your heart's delight. You could do that little Pilates. If it's bugging your neck, bring your head down or maybe rest your hands behind your head. Go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring the right leg up, left leg bent, and simply let that right leg kind of move over to the left. Now, the right arm is making that half of W on the right side, half field goal pose. Exhale and feel the movement. The open chest is going to really help those pectoral muscles right by where the armpit is, right? Where you want to release that. That armpit needs to relax. And that's going to relax the ribs to the outside of the right hip. If you'd like to extend that right leg long, you'll go for it. Maybe focus over towards the right if you want. And then we'll simply come back to center, just like a pendulum swing. Make sure your hips are more centered. Let the left knee go out to the left as the right leg comes out to the side. Now you're getting the inner groin work. I like to bring my right hand right to that right leg and push it open a little more and gently guide it all the way back up. So let's do some ab work here. We're going to bring the right leg down and swing it around. Right leg down and swing it around. Now look, I have my left leg hovering. If you would prefer a left foot comes to the mat, bring it all the way around. Try it in both directions, please about three times each side. And then we're gonna finish by bringing the right leg over left, threading that right arm under and just moving right into this. So we are opening up our hips. So when we go to that forward facing position, we'll move right into our warriors. Exhale, release, draw that right foot over. One more little twist. Arms extend out to the left, focus goes as well. And then pull yourself back to center. Put both feet to the mat, lift the hips up please. Guide your right leg up and feel that energy on the left side. So we're going to exhale, bend the knee, and tap the hips down. Inhale, pull it up. Now I'm going to use my arms. I'm going to exhale, pull my arms behind, and then inhale, pull back up. Exhale, pull them behind. Inhale, back up. It's just kind of a distraction. Exhale. Inhale. we got seven more of these babies to go. So seven. You can get your heart going lying on your back. Six, ready, five, four, three, 
two, and one, hold it, breathe it all the way down, exhale, cross your left leg over right, squeeze your knees in, forehead towards your knee, roll it side to side, give it a ha. Awesome. So we're going to go ahead and let that left leg come up towards the sky on the inhale, maybe roll through that foot. You can bring the forehead up to the knee and hover it out. Let's just do a couple more stomach exercises here. As we just walk, like we're walking on the moon, we take this like nice long stride, feel it, pull in from the middle, keep going. Gets to be too much in the neck, you place it to the floor for a four, three, two, and one. Place that right foot down. It's that swing over to the right. Let that left arm bend and that half a field goal post. Maybe look to the left and breathe. Inhale and exhale. I just realized I need to make sure you see me and I need my phone. Okay. Take a few more breaths here. So you've got that reverse twist here, the bent left elbow. Slowly draw it up. Now, the right leg can stay where it is as you let the left leg come up to the side. You can use that left hand here to push it open if you want and breathe. And then maybe make some circles with it. Kind of nice to make those circles. Breathe it up and around. Maybe cross that left leg over right. Breathe these guys all the way up. Shake it out a little bit. We're going to come back to center. Guide that left foot over and give it that little twist. And then come back up here for a moment. We're going to take that circle and maybe lift your right leg up to move through the energy of your belly three times in one direction, three times in the other direction. And we'll place both feet to the mat. Lift the hips up to the sky. Let the left leg come up. Arms will come back and down, and you'll bend and then lift. So this time I'm just exhaling, and then I'm reaching up with my arms. Exhale and reach up. Exhale and reach up. Let's try it a couple more times. Woo. And we are ready now to bring our knees toward our chest and rock and roll back and forth. We're going to come all the way on to all fours. You can rock and roll a couple times if you need to. All right. Hands are under the shoulders, knees are under the hips. Wiggle those hips around. Everybody can see me, right? We're all good. Let me make sure my phone is on just in case. The world is on a bumpy journey to a new destination with the new normal. Yes. So we're going to smooth out those bumps a little bit. Taking a few breaths in and something we know really well into our cow pose. And then exhale into your cat pose. Enjoy this. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine extraordinarily long. You give your, yourself more space. Exhale, pull it all the way in. Two more times, inhale, lengthen, create that smile. Exhale, pull it in. On the last one, take the inhale, lengthen, look up. On the exhale, bring the chin into chest and hold. Taking in a little bit more with an extra inhale. And then splat, let it all go. Shake it out. Extend the right leg. I love rocking back and forth here because so you'll notice I have my sneakers on just because um, I have this thing going on with my heel. It's getting better, but it's better when I wear my sneakers. That's my new normal for right now. That's my bump. Come back to center. Bring the right leg up. But that stretches out your calf, right? And then bring that left arm out. We're in spinal balance. I know we do this every week, but it's so therapeutic. Exhale, pull the elbow in, inhale out. Exhale in, inhale out. Two more, exhale in, inhale out. Last one, exhale in, inhale out and hold. Can you reach back and bow it out? If you can't, that's okay. Maybe you're just here and you push the heel up, like you're pushing a ceiling peeling off, panel off. Hold. Inhale, reach. Exhale, let the right leg just land at a diagonal behind you on the left side. Peek over your left shoulder, feel that stretch in the right rib side. Pull yourself back to center. Sit your heels, hips back to your heels and give yourself a child's pose. Take some inhales and exhales. 
Start in some deep breaths. Make them deeper than you thought possible. Really pay attention. I just took a yoga class inside. There was only one teacher, and I had a mask on. And it was funny because the mask really made me think of my breath. The way you suck it in, you suck it out. So maybe your new normal is to wear your mask every once in a while when you're in yoga. Let's come back up to center. Place the hands under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. Wiggle those hips around. And then extend your left leg out. Rock it back and forth. Back and forth. And then come back to center. Draw that left leg up. Now notice your left hip. We tend to do that. Square the hip down. Practice a flex foot. It's not just flex. You're also pushing through the mount of your left foot like you're pushing against the gas pedal. Extend your right arm out. Thumbs up. On the exhale, pull it in. Really pull it in. All the way out. You're warm, so I want you to really make this work for you. All the way out. Two more. All the way in. All the way out. Exhale. All the way in and hold. Inhale out. Hold there. On the exhale, we're reaching back to bow it out. Is everybody muted? Can you check your screens to make sure everybody's muted? I muted all, but it looks like. Okay. Can you hear me, Sarah? I can hear you. Yep. Can you uh -oh. hear me? Yeah, I'm using a new computer. Let me mute it. That's okay. You know what? I can mute from mine. Bring the left leg over the right and peek over the right shoulder. Inhale and exhale. You wouldn't want it to happen what happened. I, have, I, can, I, can, I already can do it, so don't worry about it. I'm hitting it now. Okay, perfect. When my son was having his business call and I was screaming all these different swears downstairs, his whole sales company could hear me. You don't want that to happen. Come back to center, come into child's pose and just sit it back. Maybe walk the hands towards the feet this time and just draw the energy down. We're starting to get into the more aggressive part of practice. So really take in that that you need. Let go of that which weighs you down and meet your road on that new normal. Slowly pull ourselves up into our table. Push down against the tops of your feet and kind of hover here for a moment. Now lift the hips up and draw yourself back into your downward facing dog and own it. Let the head go. Draw the elbows towards the thumbs. Imagine I'm behind you and I have a wide strap on the front of the top of your thighs and I'm pulling you back but also lifting you up to pull you back. Take an inhale, shift the energy into your high plank and hold definitely on your knees if you'd prefer, but we all have the same theme. The length of our body from the crown of the head to tailbone is long. Body looks more like the mat underneath you and then pull back into your downward facing dog. Let's do that again. Inhale to your high push up. Exhale to your downward facing dog. Anybody go to low push up? Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. This time we will add the low push up. If you'd like to do the first one with your knees on the earth, please do. Elbows come in. Inhale to your upward facing dog. Look, I'm modifying and not killing my lower back. Exhale to downward facing dog. We'll do it one more time. Inhale, high, exhale, low. Inhale, up, exhale, back, Ha. Come up to your tippy toes and drop your heels to the right. Push more actively against your left hand and just kind of keep bending into that right elbow. So you're getting a nice stretch in the outside of those hips. Come back to center, guide yourself back to neutral. Maybe shift the shoulders around and let everything go to the left. I'm bending a little bit into my left knee and kind of pushing against my right arm to get more of a stretch. Come back to center. Walk your feet up towards your hands and your hands towards your feet. Exhale, release. So I think we're all still on. You know, the Marblehead School started, what, Monday, and I know that um, my son's class, he's a senior, um, they lost connection, and so then they tried to use a different Zoom-like app, and they couldn't mute the students, and the students wouldn't talk, so the principal ended up screaming at the students. So it was a really successful day. Those poor teachers. Let the head go. Poor kids, too. Breathe.
Release the hands to the shins. Grow your spine long on the inhale. On the exhale, we're coming up toward halfway into our number seven pose. Love this pose because it reminds you of how you need to be active in your belly when we dive. And we reverse swan dive as well. Hold it here. Bend the knees a little bit into lock the hands behind and fold forward. Gently roll to the right side so you can drop your right ear and shake it out like you got water in your ear. Straight into the left leg. Come back to center. Don't miss the neutral point here. Slide your weight into the left side, peek under the right. Let that left ear wiggle out. Pull back to center, gently guide yourself up. Bring your knuckles up your back, chin in towards chest, and move into this camel's pose. Not camel's, bow back. We're not on our knees. Inhale, pull it all the way up. Whew. Take a breath for a moment. Maybe move through your ring fingers a little bit and then your other fingers. See if you're stressed out in your hands at all. They're really used a lot right now, right? Your hands and your wrists. Reach for your left wrist and lean to the right, peek underneath that left elbow. So notice, kind of similar to what we just did upside down, you get a different feeling. Come back up to center, reach for the right wrist and lean to the left, same idea. We're gonna come back to the middle, on the exhale, hands meet the center of the chest and you walk to the front of the mat with your toes touching. Or not, it actually is a stance that feels more natural for you than anything else. It's that idea of that little tailbone comes down and the belly pulls up. So there's a little bit of taking a bowl that's half full, right, of water. And you want to make sure the bowl is nice and neutral where your hip line is, okay? Inhale, pull the arms up. Exhale, hands to the center of the chest and hold. This time we're going to inhale up, bend the knees. Big, huge open mouth for me. Let it go, breath. <sighs> Set your intention or intentions for your practice today, please. Let it be whatever you need it to be. Don't fight against something that you would never think about doing and now you think about doing, just take it on in, right? We, we kind of are evolving. And then together we go. Inhale, pull it up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, extend the spine. Step it back to your high push-up and pause. Exhale to low push-up. Remember, don't do that if it's not good for you. Inhale up. Exhale to the downward facing dog with a hold. Two breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Look towards your fingers. Step to the front of the mat. Jump step, uber crawl. Inhale. Exhale. Super strong on the inhale. Ugh, it's a beautiful day out there. Take it all in. Let's go right back down. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. If you're powering this up, you're moving right into your Chaturata Dandasana. Inhale up, exhale back. Take two breaths. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Look towards your fingers, jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Let's come up, inhale, reach it all the way up. Exhale, go down one more time. Dive, either hands to the center of the chest or right in front of, yep, on the outside. Come to high or low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog, looking awesome. Exhale, all the way back. I love seeing my people do yoga with me. It brings me much joy. Inhale and exhale. Look towards your fingers, jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Exhale, sink into your ugatasana. Let's play with that spinal balance thing from a different um, entry level here. We're gonna bring your left leg up and hold, different, different entry point. Rock onto the ball of that right big toe. I have this flexed. There's a slight lean right here. My arm's coming a little forward. And then as I straighten that right leg, I try to lift up. 
a little bit of that upward facing dog airplane and then pull it back, lean it a little forward, bend into it. You wanna feel the spring here. So spring back and open. We're trying to strengthen your ankles and your knees. Pull it back. We're gonna do it two more times, all the way back. Lift the chest. Exhale, pull in. This time we're gonna pull it back, pause, and then if you can, step that left leg all the way back. We're moving right into warrior one. Draw your right foot out a little bit. And then again, we'll move in a little bit of a flow with the lean forward, curl the toes up, push your way all the way back to where we started. Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, I'm gonna open my arms and close them here, fist. Exhale, push away, this time inhale. Reach the arms behind, exhale into the front knee and fold into humble warrior. Draw the right ear to the ankle and just breathe. Give it a We're gonna keep working this right side. So as you exhale, let the left arm come down. Your left heel will lift up. If you'd prefer to bring the knee to the earth, you will. Your right arm is going to reach up. Maybe we all bring the knee down to start. Your right arm reaches up. Now I'm gonna inhale and lengthen on the exhale. I'm gonna straighten that leg. Bring the right arm behind and really blossom into this pose. And then if you wanna play with this, you could do it again. Bend the knee and then lift it up. Try that a few more times. Sometimes you want to just stay. So it's up to where you want to be. One more time. Hold it. Roll that right shoulder back like we're looking over the shoulder again like we did at the beginning. And then exhale. Bring that right hand to the inside of the right foot. The right foot will walk out a little bit. Let's use the abs here, drawing that knee towards elbow and hold. Hold it. Kick it all the way back. Bend the knee and peel it up. Ah. Ooh. And then go ahead, step your right foot forward. Watch this, stay with me. Left foot's coming up, but it's not touching the mat. You're gonna bring your right hand to your thigh, left hand to the thigh. Try to pull yourself up. Come into spinal balance from here. On the inhale, come back to center. On the exhale, sink into your Ugatasan. Move the hips around a little bit. Move them around and then sink all the way down. So we're gonna do the second side. You're gonna lift that leg up. Which leg did I lift up first? The uh, right? Okay, so we're going left leg. Take it all the way up. If you did the other leg, just do the other leg. We're holding here. And then we're kicking back. and then bring it in and then kick it back. Do it a couple more times, all the way in, all the way out. One more time. If you feel like you're on the long, long leg, switch it. I'm sorry, I, left leg comes back. I think we're doing the right one here. We're gonna inhale, pull it all the way up. Exhale, push away. Open and close the arms if you'd like. Exhale, push away. Inhale, exhale, push away. Inhale, exhale, push away. This time reach the arms around. No, we did decide already, you guys, because I had the right elbow on the right thing. Switch to the other side. I'm gonna get you going. It's your left leg. Open up the chest, don't worry, I'll reverse it. Left ear to ankle, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I'll, I'll work you out, I promise. I'll get you balanced. And then we'll exhale, let the right arm come down. You're drawing that back heel up and you're twisting to the left. The left arm can come behind. So this is where if you choose to use a little motion here, you can bend into that back knee and then pull it back up. Exhale, bend in and then inhale, pull it back up. Exhale, bend in and pull it back up. Try it one more time. Exhale, bend into it, pull it back up and hold. 
Bring that left hand to the inside. Walk it all the way out. Stepping that left, uh, taking the left knee on top of the elbow. Hold. And then kick it back. High push-up. Exhale, low push-up. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. That left leg lifts up. Bend the knee and peel it open. Ooh. And then step it all the way through. So as you step it through, your left hand will come to your left thigh. Your right hand will come to the thigh. You're breathing it up into spinal balance. Extend it long here. We're staying extra long here because I missed the front half of this. Turn that right hip, really lift it up. Take three more breaths. That should balance you out. Bend the knee, pull it all the way in. Sit into Ugatasan. Exhale. Sink down into your heels. Lift the chest up nice and tall. Now, notice the way you shift your weight forward and your heels lift up. And then exhale back. So come all the way forward. That's that lean forward with the heels lifting up. And then all the way back. One more time, a little forward. Exhale back, settle. We'll go into our sun B. Inhale, exhale, inhale. So if you don't wanna do the push-up, you're just stepping your left leg back. If you're doing the push-up, high to low push-up. And then from there, your right leg will step forward. We're all coming into warrior one. Draw it up, curl the toes back. Exhale, push away. Step back to your high to low push-up. If you wanna add the extra work, Bring your knee to your elbow and pause. Come down to that low push-up, lift up, and all the way into downward facing dog. That's just a variation to throw in there if you want it. Take some deep breaths. Step your left leg forward. Inhale to warrior one, curl the toes up. This is a moving sunbeam. Exhale, push forward. Like I said, if you want the extra work, bring the elbow to the knee. Exhale, low push up, inhale up. Exhale all the way back, downward facing dog. Take two breaths. Look towards your fingers, step to the front of the mat. Take an inhale and lengthen. Take an exhale and fold. We're gonna do this one more time. Inhale, shoot up to Ugatasan. Exhale, Uttatasan. Inhale, extend. Step that left leg back or high to low push up. Together we'll come to flow up in our warrior one. Toes curl up. Inhale, draw it all the way up. Exhale, push away. Inhale, high push up. Exhale, low. Inhale up. Exhale back. We got the second side. Left leg step. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, push away. With or without the elbow and knee kissing or come back for a one-legged push-up. Inhale up. Exhale back. Drop to child's pose, please. If you would prefer to keep the power going, you're going to come onto your forearms and hold a plank. My friends that are in child's pose, you're drawing everything to the right. My guys who are in forearm plank, you're going to drop your hips to the right 10 times for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Okay, so child's pose people, walk your hands to the left. Plank people, left hip for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, everybody. Adjust yourself to lie onto your mat. Come into Sphinx pose. Forearms are to the mat. Lift the chest up nice and tall and breathe. So I haven't gotten any phone calls yet. I think that means everybody's online. Everybody can see me okay, right? So move side to side. Lift the chest up and hold. Watch this. If I come up onto my fingertips I can lift up higher but be careful here's the lower back where we're really flexible and we tend to move too much from that you really want to be aware of roll forward for a moment see how I'm rounded now push down against your forearms and see how you can start to straighten that from the top back top of your shoulders first 
and then push up into that extended sphinx pose. On the exhale, drop to your forearms. Keep your left hand and swing it across so you can reach back for that bent right leg. I'm coming on to the big toe side of that foot, pulling my heel towards my butt. If you can get the arm all the way around, you will. And I'm gonna show you from a forward view. No worries if you're not going there. Just get some popcorn and pretend you're in Circus du Soleil. All right, here it is here. Some people will be able to grab the toe and then be able to grab the back heel. Take one more breath, let it go. Let's bring that right knee up towards the elbow. Draw the left arm under and let yourself open into that twist. Give it a ha, breathe. So if your right ear is all the way up into your, um, your shoulder, into your ear, you need to bend the elbow a little bit and drop it down. Let it slide down. And then slowly pull yourself back to center. Slide yourself back into your sphinx. Go to your extended sphinx to lift up. And then look, I bring my right hand in. I'm making an L. So we're working in opposites because I'm not mirroring you right now. I extend through my arm here to make sure I get more distance and then reach all the way back. That makes a difference. Reaching for your left foot, however it works, if you're doing the dragonfly, your right hand grabs that left big toe as the left arm comes behind. See how I pull that into a bow? Exhale, release. Draw the left knee up towards the elbow. Right arm threads under. Give it the ha. There she blows. Let it go. Breathe. We got this, guys. We have got this. Look how we are. We are chameleon-like. We just kind of move into what we need to move into, making it work. Come back to center. Bring the hands towards the lower ribs. Pull yourself up to your upward-facing dog and hold. On the exhale, maybe knees to the earth. You're tucking the toes. Pull right into that downward-facing dog. Breathe. Ha. The right leg will lift up. You'll bend the knee and peel it open. For those of you who are feeling like you're pretty flexible here and you want to go for it, I encourage you to bring your left hand in a little bit more before you flip your dog and to really extend the arms so you got a lot of leverage moving into that. Hold. Now you can bend your elbows and make circles. If you're just moving into staying in your um, exposed dog right here, maybe you make some circles of your hips. Take one more breath. And then together, we're going to come back to this uh, three-legged dog. Bring your right knee to your left elbow and pause. Come back for the inhale. Bring the right knee to the left elbow and pause. Come back, inhale. Exhale, right knee to left elbow and pause. You know what's coming. We're coming into fallen triangle. So this is to get our ribs ready for twist. Feel the movement from the ribs and pull it up. If you prefer to be on that right knee, go for it. Breathe. Take one more breath. Kick the right leg all the way back. Whew. And then guide it all the way through into a crescent lunge. So inhale, pull it up. Stay right in your crescent lunge if you'd prefer to hold. If you're coming with me, we'll exhale and bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale up, exhale, bring it down. Inhale up, this time we exhale and bring it down. Watch this, I'm gonna bring my hand, arm, right hand to the inside and straighten my back leg. So I'm slowly going to bring my left heel to the mat and come into warrior two with that left foot, but draw that right arm under. So if you're moving into a bind, the left arm will come around. If you prefer to adjust this a little bit, your right forearm will come to your thigh. It's a different way to get into Utiti Pashvakanasana. I have a little ADD with yoga. I get really bored doing the same thing all the time. So come with me here if you'd like. Just inhale and exhale. If you're in your bird of paradise, go ahead and do what you need to do. We'll take four more breaths. You could just be here exploring the knee, the uh, elbow under the knee and kind of holding or just coming here. On the exhale, we're all gonna come back and move all the way up into our warrior two. 
straighten the front leg on the inhale. See how you curl the toes back and move right into Trigonasana. So my legs are too long right now. I can feel myself tumbling over. So I'm going to bring my back leg in. Inhale, exhale, right hand to the shin, left arm to the sky, and hold. Here we go with this twist. Bring your left knuckles over to that right hip side. Maybe your left hand comes around to grab your right thigh. So it would look like this. You bring it around, and you grab your thigh, and you open up that way. You could keep it there, bending into your right knee, and draw that left leg up. Moving into Ardha Chandasana. You could stay in Trigonasana if you prefer. Take in three more breaths. Okay, so coming all the way up, we exhale into our warrior two and we hold. Breathe. Adjust your feet as needed. Settle the shoulders back. Feel the love. Let it go. Just be in it. Whew. Okay, we're going to turn the toes in, turn to the left side of your mat, rest stroke the arms around. Here is the love. Here's the real love. Stretch out the backs of those hamstrings. Ha. If you feel like a headstand is like what you need to do right now, well, then do it. Just don't knock into your glass coffee table. Pull yourself back up to center. Give yourself a little bit of a back bend. And then we'll twist to the front of the mat. Right leg is forward, back leg will come in. All right, so we start here, back heel is on the mat. Inhale, draw the arms up. So if you want to get more of your upper body, bring the arms behind this way or, re or reverse prayer. We're coming forward and we're holding. And either one works. And then we're eventually revolving so that we're twisting in the opposite direction now. Twisting to the right. Roll that right shoulder back. We started class today with that kind of diagonal. The foot was in one direction. And we're looking over the shoulder. That's the feel you should get. Pick up your back leg if it's in your practice. Take one more breath. And then exhale. High to low push-up. Or just meet me back at the front of the mat in a malasana squat. Taking it all the way down for a little bit of a rest. Right here. Lift the chest up nice and tall. Release the neck. Breathe. Draw in some deep breaths here. And then move yourself into your crow without over-dramatizing it. Don't do crow if it doesn't fit you right now. Just stay where you're at. Grow your spine long. From crow, you can grow your spine long, too. You just need to really feel that connection of knees to upper arms. And that, like, lifting here. Your heels moving up. But. Kind of straighten those arms a little. Together, we'll stand it all the way up. Walk the feet in and meet your Ugatasana. Take an inhale, lift up. Take an exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen with or without the high to low push-up. Step it back into your downward facing dog. Let the left leg lift up, please. Bend the knee and peel it open. Don't collapse. Please don't collapse. That will hurt you because we're going into this twist. Left knee to the right shoulder. Bring it back. Left knee. Get it in there if you can. Come across your body a little. All the way back. Two more times. Kick it back. This time we extend. Draw it up and hold. Find your variation. Come back to center. Walk your hands in a little bit. We're flipping our dog. If you want to go there, the right arm will come in a little bit, and you'll flip your dog. You could go to wild thing. You could go to your flip dog. If something's getting boring, then do a new normal for you. We'll come back. Kick that left leg all the way back. Bend the knee, peel it open, and slide it through into a crescent lunge. Awesome. How are we doing? Sometimes you wish that you lose connection. Ah, I lost connection. I think I'll go get a bagel egg, bagel egg and cheese sandwich. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's go one more time. Exhale. Let's draw that heel down. We're gonna, we, we didn't do um, Humble Warrior yet here, right? 
I forgot to do that first. So bring that left ear to the inner ankle. Breathe. I should have never done yoga before this class because I'm kind of in the zone of like, where's my car? Let your left ear go. Breathe. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to bring that left arm under. And my back heel is lifted to start because if I lift my hips up a little bit, right, and then draw my shoulder under, I get more leverage here. So option for you to stay right here is cool. And you don't have to evolve into anything else. If you drop your back heel down and you want to start moving into a bind, you really want to try to get distance with your arms. You don't want to just kind of walk into it. You extend through the arms before you bring it around. And then move into whatever works for you. Draw in a few more breaths. When you finish, come down to join me. We're going to come all the way up into our warrior two and pause. Straighten the left leg and lift up. Push that right hip back and just come into this guy. Inhale and exhale. Breathe. So again, we are going to move into that Ardha Chandasana. If you prefer to stay right here, stay right here. You can bring the right hand behind and kind of touch your upper thigh and the left arm comes forward. Breathe up. So back to where we were at the beginning of class. That right shoulder should not be rounded. You want it to spin open and you want to look over that right shoulder eventually. On the exhale, come back to hold your warrior two. Exhale, sink into it. I think we did a little bit too much humble warrior on this side. <laughs> Okay, bring your left toe in to meet it. So I'm going to stay so you can see my booty on this one because I want you to bend into your left knee. If it feels good to stay here, you will. If you want to go deeper, you'll draw that toe up. If you want to reach around and find a bind, I'll show you in a minute. The right arm comes in front of the shin, the left arm comes behind like that. So you're not underneath, you're in front of. Right arm reaches around, it comes around, and it binds behind. That's another way to do a bird of paradise. So it's the right arm reaches out, comes around. So my right elbow is right to my knee. Do you have your right arm? Do you have your, you don't have your right leg. Go to your right leg. There you go. And bring it around. Now we're going to go to the other side. So bend into your left knee. Toe can come up and you can hang here, or you can do this guy. Bringing this guy around and then that guy around. Whatever works for you. Breathe. Come back to center. Let's hold. Take some deep breaths in and out. And then slowly curl it up. We're coming into that reverse twist on the left side. So turning to the front of the mat with the left leg forward. Inhale. Arms can come to reverse namaste. Or opposite forearm crossing over. Lean into that forward fold. Breathe. I know this is advanced. We started out nice and slow and then we kind of got advanced. So stay watered down if you need it. Don't add the arms. Just kind of go up here for the twist. Do whatever it works for you. On the exhale, we're going to come back down. Take a high to low push up. Inhale high. Exhale low. Inhale up. Exhale back. So let's come on to our forearms again. And for those people who would like to take a break, you're going to come into child's pose. You're dropping your left hip first this time. My guys who are taking a break, feel free to extend your left arm out. Right arm comes on top and just kind of lean. My guys who are in plank, go ahead and drop your left hip for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now, they're going to drop their right hip as we move over to the right side. My right arm extends. My left arm comes over. I'm trying to literally pull my right arm as long as it will go, drawing my right ear down towards the shoulder. You guys are already pulsing, maybe for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everybody's crawling up onto their knees. We're going to move into camel's pose. Inhale, pull it up. It depends on your back. If you're ready to go, shoot for your ankles. If you're not, fingers towards your back. That's what I'm talking about here. These fingers encourage the upper back 
to take the initiative. And then the lower back will say, okay, I'll come with you. Big brother goes first, right? Little guy comes after. And then inhale, pull it all the way up. Exhale, watch this. Right, left. Sit in your ukatas and let's just do a quick little flow. Inhale, exhale, inhale. High to low push up. If you're with me, just step your left leg back. We're all going to move into warrior one when you get here. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale. Inhale, reach across. Exhale. Blossom, inhale. Exhale, curl the toes up, inhale. And just a high to low push up. If you want to add the twist, you can. This little twist here, go for it. We'll all meet back in downward facing dog. Step your left leg forward. So I am just here to give you kind of guidelines. You are the artist. So figure out what you want to paint here. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. My new normal is I like to twist at the end of this. So if you want to come with me and twist, go for it. High to low push up. For my guys who are done, you're going to come down onto your knees. Everybody else, your right leg will go forward. And those who are coming with me to rest, come into puppy pose. You guys are going from warrior one to warrior two to your reverse. And then come to puppy if you're with me, just letting the head go. Those of you who are flowing, just move to the second side with your own breath. My peeps who are in the puppy pose, come up into your downward facing dog. We're gonna meet our flowers in downward facing dog. Take an inhale and exhale. We'll wait till everybody catches up. When they do, the right leg will lift up, bend the knee and peel it open. And then bring the knee into the nose whenever you get there. If you're not there yet, that's okay. We're gonna pause. Hold the knee to nose for three. For two, pigeon, sit it all the way down. So feel free to lie onto your back if you need to. Take your pigeon as it feels yummy for you. Relax, relax. My new normal is to continually get used to new normals, right? Inhale and exhale, honestly. Breathe. And we all have a story, right? We all have something that's impacted us through COVID and how we've kind of changed the way we do things. Slowly pull your way up. You're going to kick that right leg back. Shake it out a little bit. If you're on your back, do it from your back. This time it's your left knee that will come into your nose and you kind of hold it here for a moment. You want to generate that energy in your belly. Don't just flop down into pigeon. You want to be mindful. And then bring your left into your left wrist and sit into pigeon. This is definitely a ha moment. Hey, maybe you need to be on your back on this one. If you're on your back, that left leg crosses over your right ankle. Maybe you have a block under your head. We're coming onto our back in a minute. I can't believe how fast time flies when we're doing yoga. Crazy, right? Crazy. You're going to go ahead and um, kick that leg out. If you're on your back, go ahead, do whatever you need to do. From there, you're going to jump through. And if you're in a lying down position, come meet me. So I totally have one of those. You know, when you go into Marshalls and you buy a sports bra that is totally useless, I have a totally useless sports bra on tonight. So I'm glad I have tie-dye and you guys can't even tell. Like, And there's like little people next to me buying these bras going, this is the best bra ever. I'm like, what are you talking about? Take an inhale, lift up, move the hip side to side. Right? Freaking A, lift up. We're all blessed with different things. Exhale, lean forward. Let the forehead come down to the knee. 
Yeah, yeah. My friend Lisa just said, don't forget, people pay for boobs like yours. Yeah, I don't know about that. Exhale, let the head go. Not when you're five feet tall and they hit the floor. Okay, just keep breathing. Inhale and exhale. This is probably not appropriate for family watching. Take one more breath. Pull it all the way up on the inhale and the exhale. Open it up. I was teaching at the Y the other day outdoor on the pool deck, teaching spin, and one of my songs had a swear in it. And I'm like, oh, dear Lord. On the exhale, come all the way down. Lift your feet up. Come into your Navasana. And we're almost there. Hold. Inhale and exhale. If you'd like to extend the legs out and you feel strong enough, this is one of the most powerful poses you can do, right? And it's not like, I'm holding on for dear life. It should be like, hallelujah. Breathe. Take one more breath. Bring the soles of the feet together. Reach the forehead towards the toes. I'm going to extend my spine long first on this one. And then come back and try the difference. Remember we did this earlier. I had you round your back and then... Try the rounded spine. Pull back up to center, hands to meet the knees. Slowly exhale down one vertebrae at a time. Let's move right into our bridge pose. So you're all the way down onto the mat. Lift your hips up towards the sky. You're in bridge. Just lift. Awesome. It could be an aggressive bridge. It could be a mellow bridge. It could be a shavasana for you. You either stay there or you add on to this. We have one more to go. So if you're doing a wheel, you're going into it now. If you're having issues at home trying to get into certain poses, feel free to text me or call me or we can talk about stuff like that. Keep lifting the hips up. Keep breathing. On the exhale, one vertebrae at a time comes down. Lift the feet up towards the mat, uh, towards the ceiling. Come into happy baby bug pose. We're getting ready for Shavasana. You're bending the knees to the outsides of those ribs and you're rocking side to side. And then eventually just come to open in a straddle to feel that nice stretch. So we started class like this, soles of the feet together, open up the chest and just breathe. Maybe you work into a final spinal here with your right knee coming over and then your left. It's up to you. We've already done a lot of twist. I tried to do twist because I really feel that in the fall, the ear is so clear and the visual is so clear. You know, you can see forever. So doing twist kind of helps you to even see further, especially when you're creating new normals. Let the arms come out, let the legs flop, let the head size, it's going to just shake side to side, open and close your mouth. So, you know, we got to let go. I know today in a couple of the sequences, I kind of led you in reverse ways, you know, and I'm like, I could get all wrapped up in that, but it's like, it is what it is. Take some breaths in and breaths out. Don't beat yourself up. See how that reflects on the skin that carries across the front of your face, the side temples, the tip of your chin, the back of your throat. Moving down to the center of your chest, you're going to feel it through your shoulders, your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your fingers, your thumbs. And that same sensation moves from the center of the chest to the middle of the belly, all the way down to your right and left glutes, feeling the sensation of relaxation down the legs, the knees, the shins, the toes, tops of the toes, bottoms of the feet, feel the backs of your calves, the backs of your thighs, the backs of your butt, feel those butt muscles all the way up to your mid-back, and then the energy line going up from the bottom of the spine to the center of your chest, clarity. Things may never go back to normal. You may need to create a new normal, and that's okay. So be okay wherever you're at right now. All good. Enjoy.
Let's start to move our fingers and our toes, our ankles and our wrists, reaching the arms up overhead for a nice big inhale. Squeeze the knees into your chest if you'd like. Move them around a little bit. Slide everything over to the right side, head resting on your hands, and just enjoy a little sip of uh, self-confidence. Stuff that you just did is awesome. You guys keep showing up every week. I'm so appreciative and also just in awe of um, your resilience to just keep stepping one foot in front of the other. So give yourself a little pat in the back. Remember, we show up from bright, we live passionately. And when the moment is over, when our work is done, we step back and let go. Victory to our spirits, peace to all beings. Let's come up to a seated position, sitting up nice and tall. Hands come up onto the knees, poke the chest just a little bit forward. Take an inhale. On the exhale, maybe you round the spine a little bit. And then inhale, come back up to center. Feel the sit bones root, nice and strong and clear, right? Just like a fall, beautiful day. Inhale, pull it all the way up. With an open mouth, exhale, let it all go. Go get them. We show up, burn bright, we live passionately. And when the moment is over, when our work is done, we step back and let go. Victory to our spirits, peace to all beings. Namaste, my friends. Namaste.